Hey everybody, this is AJ. Uh, I was working on a uh, tutorial tonight uh, to cover WPCLI and I thought why not just do a screencast. So uh, here it is. Uh, WPCLI is a command line interface for WordPress. It allows you to really kind of speed up um, your uh, installing of, of themes, plugins, uh, setting up WordPress, um, doing all sorts of fun things. Uh, I'm not going to cover everything. Um, I just kind of want to show you and give you a little taste of what it does um, and then see if we can't get something going in the comments about um, you know what other other uses uh, for this would be or um, you know if if you've got experience using it, what you use it for, that kind of stuff. Uh, so uh, to do this on a server, since I already have it installed locally, I went to my favorite web host, created a new um, droplet uh, using uh, DigitalOcean's WordPress on Ubuntu um, application. Uh, so if we copy the IP address and just load it up in a browser, you can see that WordPress needs to be installed, right? We're getting the kind of install screen. Um, but first, we need to install WPCLI on the server. DigitalOcean doesn't uh, have this there, so uh, we need to install it. Uh, so we are um, on our local computer. We can SSH root to the IP address. All right, so we're in. And uh, let's just go ahead and follow the instructions. So to install... Uh, we just run this bash script and this is just going to um, download all the necessary requirements uh, for the for uh, the, the script to run. Um, it's going to fail here in a second. The reason it's going to fail is because uh, it really needs to add uh, a requirement up here uh, that it needs to have git um, because you're going to see that it fails. Um, and it's going to fail because I don't have Git installed. So um, that's kind of a weird, weird thing uh, that I haven't been able to get across. But um, here's kind of the the exception um, is it's looking for Git. Git's not found on a uh, Ubuntu server. We just run app git install git. Say yes. Um, Go ahead and it's going to run it, compile it, all that stuff. All right, we're back to square one. So let's run the script or the bash script again. It continues off where it left off. So that's kind of a cool thing. It gets us to install it a little bit faster. Uh, so to test WPCLI, we can run uh, by copying and pasting this command. And we can see it has a root directory. There's no global config, no project config, and there's a version. Um, we can see that it found PHP. So here's the PHP INI file that's being used. Uh, here's the version of PHP, and there's the binary of where it's located. All right, so the last thing that we need to do to make sure that WPCLI is installed is and running properly is we need to make sure uh, that we have this following uh, the following line here in our bash profile uh, so I'm gonna copy both of those and uh, I'm gonna nano into bash profile you could use uh, VI or Vim if you want um, but this server is not set up to handle arrow keys and I prefer using arrow keys and trying to remember how to get rid of those spaces. So uh, we'll write to that. Um, and now that we've uh, wrote to the file, we need to source um, the bash profile. We've done that. We should be able to type WP and we get into man pages. All right. So like I said, we've got our server uh, has WordPress already, so it's already got the database, has everything that it needs to do except for filling out the information that's needed. Uh, and, and so we can do that with uh, WPCLI. Um, but first, we need to navigate to where WordPress is installed. Uh, so since I've used this um, 
uh, this kind of application from DigitalOcean. I know where it's at, but um, you'll need to navigate to uh, your own uh, place. Uh, so uh, if I just do a ls, you can see uh, I've got everything. Um, my WordPress directory is here. So again, if I do wp, um, something should happen, right? I should be able to do something. Um, and it says, uh, it actually errors out on me and says that the site you have requested is not installed. So I need to run WP core install. So let's run that. And it errors again. Uh, kind of the point I want to make in that is that when you run a command, you're not going to break something necessarily. Uh, and if it errors out for some reason, it's going to give you a reason why. So in this case, we're missing uh, parameters. Um, and if you look at it, it's all the parameters that are needed to fill out this form. So uh, let's go ahead and fill those out. Uh, WP core install URL. Now, because we're at, uh, passing a parameter, we want to use the equals and then double quotes. 192.241. Okay, so there's our URL. Now I'm using the IP address because this uh, server's only up well. I'm recording, it's going to be down, and the IP address won't be mine uh, after that. Um, so I didn't want to set up uh, a URL to point to that. Um, but we can, that's, an IP address is still a URL, it can still load a web page. Uh, so then we need the title, so we'll say title is WP CLI test site. Uh, we need an admin user. WP CLI user, uh, admin, password, um, and then an admin email. Oh, there we go. All right, so we've included all the parameters. Um, we've put quotes around them. Uh, we've gave ourselves a username and password. Obviously, again, I'm just using this for test uh, testing purposes and, and for the screencast. So um, ha had this been like a real site I was planning on keeping up, I would definitely put a different admin user and a different uh, admin password uh, to this to be more secure. Uh, so I'm going to let that run. And it looks like it didn't like my, well, that's kind of a bummer. Uh, I didn't like my explanation point. So we'll copy that in and we'll just get rid of it. All right, that's better. Um, so one thing I've noticed about, uh, about uh, the image that DigitalOcean uses um, for this application is that it takes a while uh, to see any result um, in the command line, but if we were to uh, get rid of the WP install and all that, chances are it's already going to be installed, um, and we're still sitting here kind of waiting for it, so I just control C to get out of the uh, waiting game, and uh, so now uh, we're ready to go. If we type in WP, um, it's going to open the man pages, um, but we could do WP help and get the same way. Uh, so there's a lot of subcommands for just WP, right? There's cache, there's cap, there's CLI, uh, there's comment, comment, meta, and each one of these does different things. So we could manage posts, plugins, options, uh, network, custom fields, attachments. Um, we could import content from a WXR file. Um, we could get help with a command. Um, we could execute arbitrary PHP code after loading WordPress. We could do basic database options. We could download, install, update, and otherwise manage WordPress proper, right? So WP core dash dash help. What does that give us? Um, so there's a few things uh, that we have. Uh, we have config, so we could set up a config file if we haven't done that. We could download WordPress core. Um, 
we could check to see if uh, the tables are installed. Uh, we could convert a single site install to a multi-site install. We could update WordPress, we could update the database, and we could display the WordPress version. So uh, if we just run version, we can see what version we're running. All right, so uh, that's kind of the gist of it. Um, I want to show you at least one more thing though, and that is just kind of how to work with uh, themes especially. Uh, so you can see that we've got the 2013 theme available, um, and when we did wp-help, um, if we get down a little bit farther, there is a theme subcommand. So wp-theme-help um, that has its own subcommand. So you can activate a theme, you could delete a theme, you could get a theme, you could install, uh, you could get a list, you could get the path, you could search, uh, you could see what the status is, and you could update themes. So we could do WP theme list to see what's installed. And we can see the 2013 and the 2012 are installed. So if we want to activate one of those, um, WP theme has a subcommand of activate. So WP theme activate, and it just takes the name of the theme. So in this case, it's 2012. And it looks like I spelled it wrong. All right, so there we spell it right, and it switched to that theme. But we can also search for a theme on the on the directory. So WP theme search um, blue, let's say, and see what comes back. Um, so a few different themes have have um, came back. We you also have a rating. Uh, looks like Columbus is available. Oh, I forgot to show you when we switch themes, let me reload, here's a 2012 theme. Uh, let's activate this Columbus. So WP theme install, because we want to install it, this, and then I think there's a dash dash activate so that we can install and activate in one command. So you'll remember I used activate here instead of install, um, but they also have a, an optional parameter of activate. So let's see if that works. So it's going to download, it's going to install it, and it's going to say theme could not be found. So if that's the case, WP theme list, and I bet you it's because um, it's a capital versus a lowercase so activate so I have no clue what this theme is but let's refresh and see what it looks like and here you go all right so that's pretty cool we were able to switch that out we can always switch themes rather quickly uh, so you can do that for plugins, and you can do that for other uh, pieces as well. Uh, the last thing I wanted to cover was uh, the database interaction. So you could do wpdb dash dash help and get kind of their subcommands, or you could just do db and you could get it this way. Uh, so if we went to wpdb cli uh, as the subcommand, it's actually going to launch us right into MySQL. And it's going to put us in the uh, database um, that is uh, that this WordPress install uh, is using. So we could do something like um, I don't know if we wanted to show tables, we could run that, and we could see all the tables. If we wanted to select um, star from uh, WP users, oops we could see that as well. So you can start to see um, people there. Um, the, the last command is wpdb export. So uh, creating a backup plan 
uh, for the for your site. Um, you could just run this, and it's going to export uh, a SQL file into your working directory. So here is our working directory, and you can see right here it created our file. But you could also give it a folder location. So you could do db export. Um, I'll just throw it in my uh, home directory. So a tilde slash. Uh, now I need to give it a name, so we'll do backups or backup dash twelve for two thousand thirteen dot sql, and it's going to export that. So you can see that right here. Pretty neat. Uh, so what you could run is you could run this. Um, every uh, every day, every night, every week, whatever you could set it up in a cron job. Uh, you could set up a bash script uh, that gets ran um, you know whenever you log into the server or uh, really whenever you want. Um, but but this allows you to interact with WordPress without having to go through the rigmarole of uh, logging into WP admin. And, uh, and and doing things in there. So uh, that is uh, WP CLI. Uh, it's a command line interface for WordPress. Uh, definitely check out wp-cli.org and um, check out the other commands um, and, and packages that are available. People are starting to write uh, to this um, to uh, give you um, different uh, abilities uh, and, and even plugins are starting to write uh, to um, write uh, commands in. And so, if you go to, uh, I'll put this link at the bottom, uh, but underneath the video. But um, any of these uh, plugins, you can download this specific WordPress plugin, and you've got a command and its own features. So. Uh, things like um, Jetpack has started including it, uh, WP Migrate DB, which is a pretty cool um, database migrate tool, uh, Composer, um, uh, Backup Buddy had it uh, for for running backups, and so you can you can uh, see what those commands are um, amongst uh, caching uh, pieces as well. So. Uh, there's definitely a lot of uh, community involvement around WPCLI, and uh, it's only going to grow. So um, check it out. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear uh, you know, how you're using it or, or how you could see using it. Um, so thanks for watching.